Get ready. It's time to have some fun. Coming to you from KDKA TV Studios in downtown Pittsburgh. It's Pittsburgh Today Live. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Selena Pompiani is here. How you doing, David? I'm doing well. I have a question for you. Yes. Did you get a good night's sleep? I usually do. I really didn't last night. Oh. I was tossing and turning, and I think the problem was I fell asleep on the couch from about 5 to 6. Not yeah. good. And then I yeah. woke up to go upstairs. And then you couldn't fall back asleep. Yeah, that's in fact what we want to talk about today is napping and that's kind of a napping no no. It is a napping no no. Yeah, I did. So. I couldn't help it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a, a new study found that in general, if you nap occasionally twice a week way, not like Selena did last night, it could lower your risk of heart attacks or strokes. Yeah. So this is really impressive stuff. Researchers from Switzerland studied the association between napping and the risk of cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. They looked at 3,400 people, 35 to 75, and those people who napped once or twice a week between five minutes to an hour were 48% less likely to suffer a heart attack or stroke. So I, I love mean, this. that's more evidence that napping can be good for you. And I take a lot of naps. Well, in the shift you work, I understand that. But so mm -hmm. we, normally, what, you go home from work and do you take a nap right away? No, I now I'm, I try to get for if I don't work out right away, it's never happening. So I try. <laughs> I and try for me, to do sometimes that. it never, never does. <laughs> me too. But I like to take a nap later in the afternoon, maybe around three, four o'clock. But my problem is, David, I don't know about you. When I go down for a nap, it turns into two to three hours. Well, yeah, that it's means you, you, you are sleep deprived. Yeah. <laughs> well, my problem is if I sleep too long on a nap, then I can fall asleep that night, but then I have bad dreams. Oh, no. Does that happen to anybody? I Yeah, I never really have bad dreams ever, mm. but if I've taken a long nap and then I go to bed that night, I will have bad dreams. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm I a case know. study of something. Mm, yes, you know. are. <laughs> I don't know what, but... <laughs> Well, it turns out there are some do's and don'ts when it comes to napping, and that brings us to today's list. We have some advice from a sleep expert. This came from the Huffington Post. They had a bunch of tips. We're only going to share four of these, but they're all really good tips. The first one is avoid naps. If you have insomnia, it means that you will think even worse in that situation. Yeah, it's not going to improve things in any way. All right, uh, limit to 30 minutes your nap. Selena, 25 to 30 minutes apparently is ideal. That allows you time to, to rest without the risk of falling into deep sleep, and then you're going to wake up and feel more tired if you let that happen. And this is one that I need to remember. Don't nap after 4 p.m. because you are most likely to sleep between noon and before 4. So that's what I need to remember. Maybe I should switch my workout and napping yeah. routine. Yeah. Well, I don't know how you work out and then immediately fall asleep. <laughs> I don't I, either. I, that's supposed to energize you. <laughs> All right. Even 10 minutes can help. Even if you don't fall completely asleep, snoozing just for 10 minutes can make you feel more alert. And, you know, my mom used to say, even if you can't sleep, rest your eyes. Right. That's great. And I love that. Well, I remember earlier in the year on PTL, you did a study. I think it was you and Heather about uh, some type of napping with an egg on a spoon. Oh, yeah. And yeah. if you, once you drop. Once the, you drop the egg, you should wake up. Like, that's the, the timer, like the mm -hmm. old school timer. So, like, if you actually fall so fall much asleep that the egg falls off, you should wake up. But then you've uh -huh. got an egg to clean up on it's, the floor. Yeah, that's no fun. Yeah. Yeah, switch oh, it up. Maybe yeah. something other than an egg. Yeah, well, <laughs> or, you know, we have yeah. these now. Yeah. We could use these. That could help. All right, well, speaking of sleeping. Did you hear about this? This is an incredible story. I heard about this. This <laughs> woman swallowed her engagement ring while she was sleeping. Can you even imagine? I, I saw the story and I said, how did this happen? So Jenna Davis, she's in San Diego. She actually dreamt that she was on a cargo ship and her fiance told her to swallow her ring. I guess people were chasing uh, them yes. in the dream. And so to protect the ring, he said, you, you gotta swallow it, you gotta swallow it. And she did, sure enough. She woke up and the ring was gone. Oh my gosh. They rushed her to urgent care and she had emergency surgery. I, I can't even imagine. Look at that. Yeah, I'm glad they got it out. I feel very grateful that I got it back and that, that it is 
it, it does end as a happy, funny story. Yeah, we're glad she got it back too. They, uh, I think they did an endoscopy, which yes. means they, they went down for it, mm -hmm. uh, but they got it out. That's the important <laughs> part. Now she takes her ring off at night, so it won't happen again. Oh my gosh, I can't believe uh, that, that visual there when you see the ring inside of her is wild. Well, and here's the other thing. I have trouble swallowing pills, like actual medication Me sometimes. Me too. How do you swallow? A sharp ring. <laughs> right, holy and cow. And I think I, it was over two, two and a half carrots, so that's not a small ring no. that she's swallowing. No. Well, speaking of eating, <laughs> do you ever eat a second breakfast? Apparently, this is a tradition in Bavaria, Poland, and Spain. So before lunch, you have another dose of, bre of breakfast. More eggs, more bacon, more pancakes. And according to a new survey, more than half of Americans would like to see this become a thing right here in our country. Uh, a company called One Poll found that 62% of the people surveyed say they like this idea. Uh, and uh, many of them say, in fact, they have a second breakfast at least once a week. What do you think of this? You're an I early riser. This. I am an early riser, and today I told David earlier, I woke up and I had my banana in my bar, and then I went on to have a wonderful, I guess, second breakfast slash lunch. It, it was a turkey sandwich. I had chips. I had vegetables, fruits. <laughs> Oh, you had so what is, a, you had a smorgasbord. Now? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> I think you're set for the day, Selena. But yeah, some people say, hey, we should have a second breakfast. And, mm -hmm. and I, I'm in favor of that. I love breakfast foods. I and do I think too. If you get up early and you have something light by mm -hmm. 10, 1030, you might want to have eggs and toast. Yeah, I like yeah. that too. We'll yeah. have to look into that. All right, we will see what happens. Now we want to explain why we have these little guys here. Our producer said that we should mimic their oh, motions. Okay. What they're Ooh. doing. Yeah. So we want to talk about Halloween decorations because <laughs> <laughs> I look like I'm being arrested. Hands up! Um, because some people have them up already yeah. in their yards. And I, in fact, I love this. I don't think it's too early. Do you? I don't think it's too early. No. So these are some houses in Mount Lebanon uh, that we have pictures of that Ooh, are already. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, this looks sinister, spooky, spooktacular, if you will. <laughs> so what we want to invite you to do is we know people get into this. And in fact, my aunt Pat Heilman in Indiana, PA, she does a great job decorating her yard for Halloween. Like there are things that move that like their motion sense things mm -hmm. that move. So they, you know, the poor mailman there. I don't know. I would be terrified. <laughs> I, my, my mom goes all out, too. We love it. I love Halloween. Well, we want to see your pictures. Send them to us at, at PTL, Pittsburgh Today Live, on the Facebook page. We will share some of these pictures with, with all of you on TV mm -hmm. because, you know, it, it's just fun stuff, and yeah. people get into it. And we could share from now until Halloween. We have a lot of time there. I know. It's true. I know. Yeah. I am not ready for Christmas decorations, however. I am not either, but you see them everywhere. Yeah, in fact, um, Robert in our, our graphics department said he saw Christmas decorations at Walmart already. And it's that's just, soon. it's too soon. It makes me sad. It makes me sad, too. I'm, not, I'm, I'm ready for fall and autumn right now. I'm not ready for Thanksgiving yet or Christmas yet. They not need to yet. slow it down. Right. We're in a we're in an autumnal kind of mood, yes. or maybe I'm still holding on to the past the, the oh, last no. few days of summer. Well, oh, it's great yeah. outside. I'm I yeah. am too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to ask something else of you as well. We are going to start something new this Friday. Selena and I will be here to answer your questions live on the show. We're going to call this uh, Friday Free for All. I like this. So you can ask us really <gasps> anything. Anything. Yeah, something behind the scenes at PTL, something funny, some something personal, like you know. What's your favorite <laughs> pudding flavor? Ah. We're willing to divulge that information if you care. Yeah, or, or I'll share else. anything. Yeah, oh, well. I know you will too. <laughs> really? Anything? Maybe not everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tune in Friday. We're going to do that right at the top of the show, and uh, we will uh, look fa on Facebook to see all of your questions, and we'll try to answer yeah, some of them. I can't wait for yeah. that. We love it when you get involved. Yes. Okay. Well, time to take a break so we can get on to the rest of today's show, and we do have a great one for you. Coming up next, our good friend Larry Richard is here with his castmate and the director of a new play that's opening Pittsburgh Public Theater's 45th season, and they've called in the Marines for this one. It is a few good men. Larry and Rocky Blyer share a role in the play. Larry says it should be called A Few Good Men and Larry Richard. <laughs> I don't know about that. Larry is a good man, too, but we don't 
don't want to miss that. It is coming up next. Yeah, I can't wait to talk to them. Plus, Dr. Frank is here with the latest tech finds to make our lives easier. Look, there he is getting Terry from the studio crew a <laughs> cup of morning coffee, and that's from a new kind of coffee maker he has. Hey, Dr. Frank, I'll have one too. <laughs> Get it ready, Dr. Frank. <laughs> and we're in the kitchen today with Market District Chef Ben D'Amico. See how to make his nacho normal nachos for your next party. They are very unusual and they are sweet instead of spicy. His recipe is coming up. It's going to be delicious. That's in today's Cooking Corner. Thank you for being with us on this Tuesday, September 17th. You're watching PTL.